research tips from Monica Wahi of Death Wench Professional Services. Visit us at www.deathwench.com and let Death Wench do your data. Hi, it's Monica Wahi, president of Death Wench Professional Services. It's our ongoing saga where we are analyzing a fake data set of fake people who survived a myocardial infarction and we're demonstrating a basic survival analysis in R. Now, since epidemiologists love to calculate risk scores, in this video, we're gonna calculate the TIMI risk score, or TIMI. So here is a web page with the TIMI risk index in it. It's probably pronounced T-I-M-I, but I like to say TIMI. And I didn't invent it. It was invented by the people down here. Alrighty, so let's just notice the ingredients that go into this risk index. There's heart rate or pulse, there's age, and there's systolic blood pressure. And here is the equation. The TIMI risk index is heart rate times age over 10 to the second divided by systolic blood pressure. So now we go back and look at our data set and see if we have the ingredients. Look, we do, we have age at presentation and we have heart rate, and look, we have systolic blood pressure. I love working with fake data. Before we go too far, I just wanna revisit this ugly formula. I'm so sorry, whoever invented it, you guys. Um, this term right here is very ugly. You have to take the age divided by 10 and then square that and put that in this bigger equation, which actually is the numerator in this thing. Oh my gosh. So in order to prevent screwing up this whole risk index, what I'm gonna do is make the age term first, make sure that that doesn't get broken when I do it. And then we're gonna do the big equation. So let's go over to R. So I'm going to open code that I already wrote. We're gonna go down to our where we store our code in our official code directory. I've got a video on that. And I've got a video on how to read in the data, but instead we're going to go here. Now you'll see I've already written some code here for you. The arrow means we're making something. What are we making? Our age term. And how are we making it? With this ugly equation. So let's copy this, go out to our console, paste it, and go like that. Now let's talk about making sure we didn't screw up. So how do we make sure we didn't screw up? Well, we wanna look at the data set, um, but you don't want to see the whole data set, right? So what we really want to do is check age at presentation because that's the only variable in the end. Then we also want to check the age term to see if it came out right. So this is how you write that. Notice there's no arrow because we're not making anything. We're just looking at stuff. So here's the data set and then see this bracket and then see this comma. Why is there a comma there? Because um, the way R works is first you specify row stuff and then you specify column stuff. Well, we have no row stuff to talk about here. We just are caring about column stuff. And that happens a lot to us epidemiologists. We don't really care as much about rows as we do columns, so we end up with a lot of this. So here's actually the name of each of the columns we wanna see. It knows the data set here, so we're gonna copy this code and then just go take a look. And we have to scroll up because we're brought to the bottom of the data set. And remember, we're just looking at age at pres and age term, and here's our row names over here. So let's go down to one that's easy. Oh, here's a 90 year old. Okay, so he should be 90 divided by 10, which is nine to the second, which is 81. How about that? Okay, now is the time to actually calculate the risk score. So let's clean up by going to edit clear console and then we're gonna go do it right so here's our code with the little arrow what are we making we're making Timmy that's the name of our field and how are we making it remember that formula it's a lot less ugly now that we have age term so we're gonna take that as that numerator that I was complaining about make that fraction and then that's times heart rate and that's gonna make our Timmy so let's go copy the code and go paste it into our console and there we go. And then now, of course, we want to check it. So we're going to look at age at pres, age term, SBP, heart rate, and of course our result to me, all our ingredients, and also what we cooked up. And here we go, screen full of numbers. Let's go to the top here. Well, this is a little hard to do in your head, right? But it's kind of looking like we got it, like we got the Timmy risk score. 
All right, I admit I picked a pretty simple risk score to calculate. Usually you have to transform some variables. Well, if you do, check out my video on creating variables on the condition of other variables. I'll give you a little cookbook for doing that. Um, feel free to check out my blog, check out my other videos, and let Deathwinch do your data. If you like these research tips, visit us at deathwinch.com and let Deathwinch do your data.